Hello, hello, all right, guys. I got some Pokemon Shining Fates. I haven't done a lot of Shining Fates on the channels. We we'll picked up this V Box, and uh, like I always say, why not, right? Still on the hunt for our very first Charizard. Uh, I did do a video the other day. Um, Hidden Fates 10 and some other stuff. Hidden Fates and an old V box, uh, Toxtricity V box that I had found that I didn't know that I even had. It was damaged, it was like dinged up real bad. That actually looks pretty good right there. So many of these times I get these things out of these tins, these cards, and they're just they're just wrecked, man. That one actually looks pretty good. These tins cost a little more, but you get a little more. I mean, a little more. I mean, a little more. You get six packs, so it's it's always going to average out to be like five bucks a pack. So we got thirty bucks in on this thing, man. Uh, so let's see what we get. There aren't a lot of cards in this. That are worth more than 30 bucks. Maybe like four or five, maybe. One. There you guys want it. There you go. Now you can scan it. Throw in the trash. One, two, three, four. A lot of, uh, ooh, what is this? That's a shiny V, all right. I'm not sure what that one goes for, but we got our first shiny V out of this, so that's pretty cool. And a Crobat V Max. I think I might have this. I haven't opened a lot of shiny face, but I think that's a, is that a full art? Yes, it is. I think I might have this one, though. I'm not 100%. I know I don't have that shiny V. This is not a shiny V one. That comes out of the base, so probably not worth a whole lot. I'll have to look it up when I'm done. So right out the gate is still at the V Max. V Max is a tough pulls and Pokemon, as I'm sure you all well know. And shiny V cards are too. A lot of battle styles coming out right now, guys. So if you're looking for uh, cards, get to your Walmarts and Targets early. I don't know in your area whether it's the beginning of the week, middle of the week, end of the week. And there we go. It's not a shiny V, but that's an amazing rare. Another nice one. Really nice, nice cards here, guys. And that's just a regular rare. But that's an amazing rare, so we'll sleeve that thing up. So already, three nice cards out of this ten. Hopefully, keep coming. But like I was saying, uh, get to your stores early. As long as you get there before like ten o'clock a.m., um, you should be able to get something. I mean, there's battle styles it's out. I mean, it's it's. There's a lot of it around. Still even find some uh, Vivid Voltage once in a while. And this Shining Fates is out too. I've seen a lot of uh, V-Boxes today. Where I passed up on. Nobody wanted the Shining Fate ETBs. And some guy ended up like four of them. Hope he pulls a Charizard. Reverse hollow and a regular rare. So we got halfway through this this ten. And it's 
Considering the bad pulls I've had in the past with Pokemon, I'd probably say it's already a success. <laughs> Which ain't saying much for Pokemon. The fact that you get a shiny V and a V Max is. Pokemon's tough pulling for five bucks a pack. Oof. And then we got another shiny V. Dracovish. And behind it we have uh, a hollow rare. Okay, a regular hollow rare. So that's cool too. It's still good. A shiny, another shiny V. And that's where the, really where the value is at in the shiny faces, in the shiny cards. There's not a whole lot in the other regular set that really does much value wise. But there's some nicer ones. I mean, visually, I think there's some a whole lot nicer ones in the regular set. But they don't, they're not valued as high. Maybe their print runs are higher on them or something, but do Pokemon release print runs? Because I don't know that they do. If they do, leave a comment down below and let me, tell me know where to look to find a Pokemon card print runs or new product or newer product. Appreciate it. Wacky Eve Pico Nicklet Another Eve Reverse Hollow and a rare. <laughs> Hope we get some last pack magic on this. I haven't seen any green cards this whole 10. Maybe because it's in a 10, do they not do it? I wondered that before. Really, if it's in a 10, then what's the point? Oh, look at that. Another shiny V. That's our third shiny V card out of this box, out of this 10. And that is Mancino, number 93, out of 122. And behind that we have Ndidi. I can't see the number on that. It's too dark. Nice card, though. Good artwork on there. You know, get a look at that. It's a really nice card. I think I did have this one I pulled earlier. I think this is a double for me. I think I do have this one already. Let me look them up real quick. I got it all set up and ready to go. Stop being impatient. Okay, all the base ones. Oh my goodness. I got to hold it up. Maybe I can get a... No, not with that sleeve on it. Number 45 is going to come in at according to TCG $2.15 for a VMAX $2.15 oh there's no little ding -dong for that no uh uh you don't get that this one is probably less Number 39, I think that says it is. And DD Ultra Rare, 90, 98 cents. So we're at like four bucks. Okay, come on, shiny V cards. First shiny V we're going to look at is what, nine, number 93? I love the way. TCG player does their like you can do their sort and just go by number. Sometimes they're a little bit out of whack, but it really makes it easy to find your cards. Here we go. Nine dollars and nineteen cents. The only one I don't have sleeved. <laughs> Let's fix that right now. It's 
So I think we're at about what? 14 bucks maybe, something like that. See if we got our uh, money back out of this thing. Another shiny V, number 36. Six dollars and seventy nine cents. It's right about twenty one bucks. All right, looking pretty good right now. And number, that's no, not a shiny. Let's do the shiny. Number seventy two out of one twenty two. I'm having a hard time seeing it, folks. This stuff is really, really small. Five dollars and forty six cents. So it puts us at about 26 bucks. And then we'll go back and check these last two. We're at 26 bucks. The tin was $29.99. What's these last couple worth? This one right here. It's just a Habregar Hollow. Probably not much. Uh, About 40 cents, so no, I thought that was a uh, shiny 46 out of 72, which would be an amazing rare. It's three dollars and 53 cents. Where I say we was at about 26, that brings us right at with that other little card right there, brings us right at 30 bucks. Pokemon, did you do that deliberately, huh? Did you give us exactly 30 bucks? Well, they we still got all this. You know, we got the E reverse and all these other ones. So, yes, we did get our money back out of our Pokemon 10. Yay! We did it. <laughs> it's tough to do, folks. And um, even if you break even out of your Pokemon 10, that's that's a win-win. All right, guys? So, uh, bye for now and uh, off to the next. Later.